Learn oil field stuff. Hey there! Welcome back to Learn Oil Field Stuff, the ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you informative articles in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In today's episode, we are starting a new series where we will to introduce you to one of the most important components of any oil well, the casing strings. If you want to learn more about how casing strings work, why they are used, and what types of casing strings are there, then stay tuned. Overview of Oil Field Casing String So, what is a casing string? Well, in simple terms, a casing string is a long section of connected oil field pipe that is lowered into a well bore and cemented. The casing pipe is usually made of steel and has male threads on each end that are connected with short lengths of double female threaded pipe called couplings. The casing string serves several purposes in a well, such as Preventing the collapse of the borehole, which can happen due to the pressure and weight of the surrounding rock formations or the drilling fluids. Preventing formation fluids, such as oil, gas, or water, from entering the borehole in an uncontrolled way, which can cause a blowout, a dangerous and costly situation where the fluids erupt to the surface. Providing a conduit for the drilling fluids to circulate from the surface to the bottom of the well and back which helps to cool and lubricate the drill bit, remove the cuttings, and control the pressure in the well. Providing a seal between different zones or layers of the underground formations, which can have different pressures, temperatures, and fluid compositions, and prevent them from mixing or interfering with each other. Providing a support for the wellhead equipment, such as the blowout preventer, the Christmas tree, and the tubing hanger, which are used to control and monitor the flow of fluids from the well. As you can see, the casing string is a vital part of any oil well, and without it, the well would not be able to function properly or safely. But not all casing strings are the same. Depending on the depth, diameter, and design of the well, different types of casing strings are used for different purposes. Let's take a look at some of the most common types of casing strings and what they do. What are casing and tubing strings? The first thing to know is that there are two main categories of casing strings, casing and tubing. Casing is the term used for the pipe that is installed in the well during the drilling process, back quote while tubing is the term used for the pipe that is installed in the well after the drilling is completed and the well is ready to produce fluids. The difference between casing and tubing is that casing is cemented in place and cannot be removed, while tubing is not cemented and can be removed or replaced if needed. Casing and tubing have different functions and specifications, and they are usually distinguished by their size and weight. Casing is typically larger and heavier than tubing, and it is measured by its outside diameter, OD, and nominal weight. The nominal weight is the weight per unit length of the casing pipe and it is expressed in pounds per foot, pound per foot, or kilograms per meter, kilogram per meter. The nominal weight does not include the weight of the couplings, which are added separately. Casing is also classified by its API grade, which is a standard set by the American Petroleum Institute, API, that specifies the minimum yield strength, tensile strength, and hardness of the casing material. The API grades range from B to Q to X, with H being the lowest and Q being the highest. The API grade is usually marked on the casing pipe along with the manufacturer's name, the nominal weight, and the OD. Tubing is typically smaller and lighter than casing, and it is measured by its inside diameter, ID, and plain end weight. The plain end weight is the weight per unit length of the tubing pipe without the threads and couplings, and it is expressed in pounds per foot, pound per foot, or kilograms per meter, kilogram per meter. The plain end weight is usually less than the threaded and coupled weight, which is the weight of the tubing pipe with the threads and couplings attached. 
Tubing is also classified by its API grade, which is similar to the casing grade but with different specifications and ranges. The API grade is usually marked on the tubing pipe along with the manufacturer's name, the plane end weight, and the ID. What are the functions of casing and tubing strings? Casing and tubing strings have different functions in a well, and they are usually installed in a sequential order from the largest to the smallest diameter. The order and number of casing and tubing strings may vary depending on the well design and the geological conditions, but a typical well may have the following casing and tubing strings. Conductor casing string. This is the first and largest casing string that is installed in the well, and it is usually driven or jetted into the shallow soil or seabed near the surface. The conductor casing string serves as a foundation for the wellhead equipment and the blowout preventer, and it also prevents the loose soil or sand from caving in and obstructing the wellbore. The conductor casing string may have a diameter of 30 to 42 inches, 76 to 107 centimeters, and a length of 100 to 300 feet, 30 to 90 meters. Surface casing string. This is the second casing string that is installed in the well, and it is usually cemented inside the conductor casing string. The surface casing string serves as a primary barrier against the formation fluids and pressures, and it also isolates the freshwater aquifers from the wellbore. The surface casing string may have a diameter of 18 to 26 inches, 46 to 66 centimeters, and a length of 1,000 to 3,000 feet, 300 to 900 meters. Intermediate casing string. This is the third casing string that is installed in the well, and it is usually cemented inside the surface casing string. The intermediate casing string serves as a secondary barrier against the formation fluids and pressures, and it also protects the wellbore from the corrosive or abrasive effects of the drilling fluids or the formations. The intermediate casing string may have a diameter of 13 to 16 inches, 33 to 41 centimeters, and a length of 5,000 to 15,000 feet, 1,500 to 4,500 meters. Production casing string. This is the fourth and final casing string that is installed in the well, and it is usually cemented inside the intermediate casing string. The production casing string serves as a conduit for the production fluids from the reservoir to the surface, and it also provides a support for the tubing string and the completion equipment. The production casing string may have a diameter of 7 to 10 inches, 18 to 25 centimeters, and a length of 10,000 to 20,000 feet, 3,000 to 6,000 meters. Tubing string. This is the only tubing string that is installed in the well, and it is usually hung inside the production casing string. The tubing string serves as a smaller and more efficient conduit for the production fluids from the reservoir to the surface, and it also allows for the installation of artificial lift devices, such as pumps or gas lift valves, to enhance the flow of fluids. The tubing string may have a diameter of 2 to 5 inches, 5 to 13 centimeters, and a length of 10,000 to 20,000 feet, 3,000 to 6,000 meters. These are the main types and functions of casing and tubing strings in a well, but there are also some variations and alternatives that can be used in certain situations. For example, some wells may use a liner instead of a casing string, which is a shorter section of pipe that is hung from the bottom of the previous casing string and cemented only at the lower end. A liner can save material and cost, and it can also be used to isolate a problematic zone or to extend the wellbore deeper. Some wells may also use a tieback instead of a casing string, which is a longer section of pipe that is connected to the top of the previous casing string and cemented all the way to the surface. A tieback can provide additional pressure integrity and support for the wellhead equipment, and it can also be used to replace a damaged or worn out casing string. So, that's it for today's episode. We hope you learned something new and interesting about oil field casing strings. In the next episode, we will talk about one of the most common and important types of casing strings, the conductor casing string. We will discuss what the conductor casing string is, what its purpose is, and how it is installed and cemented in the well. So, don't miss it and stay tuned for more awesome videos like this one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.